Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, friends and enemies, Connects here with another video for you today. And today I'm bringing you guys another episode of The Political Machine 2020. Last time, we play, I played as the candidates from the 1796 election, John Adams versus Thomas Jefferson. So today I'm going to be doing the opposite of that. I'm be going up as... Thomas Jefferson, and I'm going to be going up against John Adams, just like in the election of 1800. Can Jefferson get his revenge? Let's find out. Alrighty. I'm going to go to Florida. Build an HQ here, go to Texas, build another one, and uh, Pennsylvania too while I'm at it. In the next turn, of course. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna go for that ideology. What's going on here, huh? What are you trying to do with Florida? Stop. Florida's mine. See that? It's mine. Oh yeah, what do I got for my ideologies? Give me liberty. Alrighty. There we go. Oh, hey, what's going on in California? No! I can't get to California. Oh, another town hall. What do you have for me, Misery? I'll take the bags of gold. There we go. Finally got what I wanted. Oh yeah, time to get another ideology. What should I get? Freedom to worship. Agrarianism. Wall Street regulation. Investigating political opponents, Second Amendment rights, or strong state governments. I'm going to go for... Freedom to Worship. Ooh, what's this? Matrimonial Traditions. I'll just wait until agrarianism for now. Wait, I don't think I have enough for it. Oh, I have exactly enough. I, I, should, I should read how many points I have before I click off. There we go. People love me now. Alright, I'm gonna take Michigan now. And uh, I'm gonna try I'm just gonna put down an HQ in Ohio. Where else should I put one? And New York's actually pretty close. If I put any effort, I might be able to actually take the state. Wow! What do you got for me, Virginia? Uh Sure, I'll take some ideology points. Let's see, what should I do? I'll just... Hmm. I'll just go with Wall Street regulation for right now. Wow. I guess that's how you do it. Here. Election integrity. Yes! Ooh, I wonder if I can get California. That'll be hilarious. I don't think I can do it, but I'll, I can try. Candidate Jefferson takes an early lead. Ooh, more town halls. Alrighty. There we go, California. And six points. What should I go for? Debt reduction. Oh crap, we're actually- Oh! We got more support in California than Adams does. That's how you do it. Um, sure. Alright, New York. It's your turn. Here. In the meantime, give me money. Alright, where's that town hall at? South Carolina? Thank you. I'm going to go to Alaska and see what they have for me. Uh, give me money. Hello, California. Remember me? Well, give me money. Ooh, and I got seven ideology points. What should I do with them? Hmm. Second Amendment rights. Oh, there we go. South Dakota, what do you have? Sure, give me the fixers. 
Hey, mine. We're in New York. Let's see if you guys, have, if I can convince you. Oh, there we go. Let's say good jobs. You guys like that? You guys do like that. Alrighty, where to now? California or New York? I'm gonna put down an ad here. For good jobs. Hey, stay away from California! Hmm... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for election integrity. And then I'm gonna ask for money. Thank you, California. Alright, time to choose my running mate. I'm gonna go with someone from the Times. James Madison, there he is. A little bit past Jefferson, but it'll work. He's a founding father. Jefferson's wings show no signs of doling. What do you have for me, Virginia? Oh, a land for all people. Oh, more fixers? Thank you. Hey, New Jersey, what are you doing? You're my friend, New Jersey. You're mine. Alright, can I do anything with my ideology points right now? I cannot. Alrighty, next turn. The Later Show. You have been invited to appear when The Later Show is Stephen Polka. This is a late night show, though Polka has retained the satirical edge he employed on his past show. His audience generally skews liberal. Also, don't let the comedy fool you. Polka knows his stuff. Welcome back to The Later Show. Trump's presidency continues despite a long history of unsatisfied and degraded women left behind him. We attempted to reach out for a comment on this, but Nancy Pelosi wouldn't return our calls. Members of the media, such as myself, are com pip contemptible jackals, just awful. But we are contempt contemptible jackals that society needs. How would your administration treat the press? Uh, I do better than the current. That's nice of you to say. I don't know that I'd return the favor. <laughs> it's the guillotine, man. Here, we need the media. How important is it for a president to be a role model? Like, could we safely leave you alone in a room with a child or a pile on a window seal? Um... I'm trustworthy. Both of those things? That sounds like too much work. Which would slip first? Neither. Thank you and good night. Stay tuned for the Late Late Show where their guests are even more obscure and forgettable than ours. And independent side with Jefferson. That's good news for me. Alrighty. Fixing infrastructure? No. How about fixing the roads? There we go. New York. Come on, New York. You know you want to be my friend. And what about you, Cal California? Come on, California. Alrighty. Oh, hey, I have uh, seven ideology points now. And I can get state militias, cannabis legalization, regulating technology, lower taxes, or matrimonial traditions. How about lower taxes for right now? There we go. Oh, Massachusetts didn't like that for some reason. Alright then. Next turn. Breaking news, paying off the skeletons. One of your old youthful mistakes have caught up to you, and he, she, it, yes, and also the go was involved or demanding to be paid off. This will cost you one way or another. So which will it be, money or credibility? It takes half of my treasury to keep the blackmailer. Sheesh. No, I do need money. Give me money, California. More. 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 Not enough, but it will do for now. Another town hall. Alright, what do you have for me, Virginia? More fixers? Alrighty, I'll take that. Stay away from North Carolina, it's mine. Alright, next turn. Thank you, Nevada. No the news, I gotta start upgrading these town halls.
Alright, Californian Town Hall, time to upgrade. And give me money. And I'm starting to sweat as Jefferson continues to leave. Alright, Wisconsin, what do you have? Yes, make me one of the beautiful people. There we go. Now we're talking. Here, Missouri, I know you want an HQ, so I'm gonna put you put one there for you. Alright, how are we doing in New York and California? We're failing at both right now. Alrighty. You've been invited to appear on Good Day. This is a morning show with some slightly over caffeinated hosts where quote questions will be more about character issues. It will generally be a show you want to be on. You will be able to get your message out to a broad audience while avoiding the difficult questions that may alienate voters. One of our viewers wrote in to us and asked if you'd be in favor of raising the minimum wage. <laughs> if anything, people should be paying employers. No way. Uh... Raising the minimum wage will cost us jobs. How about that? Really, how does that work? Our wages mean less money for employees. When I was growing up, America was the greatest. It was unquestioned. Now it's questioned all the time. What do you think? Is America slipping or people being unfair? Uh... Hmm, it's unfair to criticize everything. How about that? That's right, how do you make people be nicer? We can do make America better. Let's do that. That's really interesting. Also interesting, Nancy's here with some ball raking tips. Coming up, a good, coming up next on Good Day. Oh no, Florida! Florida, what are you doing as a battleground state? You're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be red like that. Thank you, Florida. Alrighty. I need money, by the way, Florida. Thank you. Alright, I've got nine points. What should I do? Political opponents. Taxation is theft. State militias. Strong state governments. Matrimonial traditions. Let's say this. Oh, everyone liked that. Sorry, Adams. I don't think you're going to be winning this round. This isn't going to be like 1796. Another town hall. Thank you, Utah. Alright, Connecticut, what do you have for me? Uh, give me money. Thank you, Grandma. Alrighty. California. Speaking of money, give me some. Thank you, California. Well, alrighty. Uh, yes, give me money. Alright, Michigan, let's see. Hey! Oh, I, wait. Time to fix that problem. Oh, what? Hey, get back here. Can't escape from me. Anywho. Election integrity, Michigan. What do you think about that? Hey, Washington. Yes, thank you, Washington. Say that color, please. New Mexico, what are you doing, purple? Thank you, New Mexico. Alrighty, one more week left. Alrighty. Let's see if we can somehow sway California or New York into my favor. You, California. Oh, what? Okay, never mind then. I'll just try and take Minnesota instead. Yes, Minnesota, we'll give you farm subsidies. Thank you. Give me money now. Give me more money. Thank you, Minnesota. Comes down to the wire and some more ideology points. Thank you, Kentucky. What do you have for me, Delaware? Give me money. Alrighty, let's see if I can get a spin doctor, maybe, to California. Oh, two seconds, it didn't even... Wow, never mind. That's not gonna happen. Oh, I see a little smear merchant over there. And I see your... Oh. And I see your smear merchant in Utah, too. There we go. 
Well, it doesn't look like it'll be getting California or New York, but it was worth a shot. Let's see. 13, 7, 3, hmm. Ooh, maybe I can try and sway Washington. Hello, Washington. Here, election integrity. Ooh, I have 10 ideology points. Let's see if I can use them on anything. Regulating technology, matrimonial traditions, state militias, or taxation, this, that. Hmm. State militias. Oh, yeah, there it is. Alrighty. Here we go. Election time. Looks like the Northeast is a little bit divided. Maryland barely went to me. Got Florida. Got Ohio. I'm gonna run, probably gonna get all the South. Got Michigan barely. Got Illinois. That's probably a shocker. Alrighty, the Midwest is probably gonna go for me, all of them. Yep, got Texas. Alright, let's see if I get Washington. Yes! And Oregon. Ooh, and I got Hawaii too. 429 electoral college votes. Now that is how you do it. Just like in 1800, an overwhelming victory for Jefferson. Even though it wasn't that big in reality in 1800. Alrighty then. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like, comment what you thought, and if you want to see more, subscribe. This has been KRNX, and peace.